Okay, so now for example two, again, please make sure you have your PDF out and um, I would look at it because uh, it would be easier to see. Uh, I've also gone back through and looked at these and uh, I can enlarge on my screen, which helps to see it better. Uh, so, you know, whatever helps is great, but pause as you need to, write down questions, email me questions if you need me to call you, email me your phone number uh, with uh, several best times to call you so I can help you. Um, and example two, um, a nutri nutritionist claims that the mean tuna consumption is 3.2 pounds per year. A sample of 90 people shows that the mean tuna consumption by a person is 2.9 pounds per year. Assume the standard deviation is 1.11 at alpha equals 0 0.09. Can we reject this claim? Okay. So at this point, you want to look at all the information stated in those few sentences. So I'm going to kind of focus on that. Okay. What were we given? We were given mu equals 3.2. How do you know that? The very first sentence, a nutritionist claims that the mean tuna consumption is 3.2 pounds per year. Okay? A sample of 90 people, so that is N. The sample size is 90. That sample shows the mean consumption is 2.9. That's our X bar. Why? Because it comes from a sample. It says it right there. X bar is 2.9. They also tell us that the standard deviation is 1.11 and the alpha is 0 0.09. Now, what else does it give us? It tells us what the claim is. Um, I always like to write that as well, and I have it, so I'm going to do that right now. My claim is mu is 3.2. Okay, that's my claim. It's always important to have all that together. So that's all the information you should have written down. That is the key. Okay? Now, the claim has an equal sign. So by default, since it has an equal sign, we know that that goes with our null hypothesis. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that down. Beside my null hypothesis, mu equals 3.2. And I also write down that that's my claim because that's gonna be important at the end because the question is, do we reject the claim? So I put it all together. If the null is mu equals 3.2, the alternative is its complement. What's the opposite of equal? Not equal. Okay. Now that also tells us it's a two-tailed test. I went over that in the first video, looking at the pages that you should already have printed. The not equal to is a two-tailed test because it's two directions. Okay. Now, um, let's look at step two. We're going to calculate the test statistic Z. Recall the formula uh, given right here. But instead of doing the formula, we're going to let the calculator do this work. So again, we go to stat, test, and z-test. So stat, test, and z-test. Okay. I'm going to bring my calculator into view. So I'm going to go to stat. Everybody can see stat. Scroll over. Oops, hit the wrong button. Let me clear that out. Stat, test, and z-test. I apologize, the light's kind of blaring there, glaring at us. So z-test. And again, you want to make sure that you have stat highlighted. And from there, you enter everything we have written down. So hopefully you can see all these numbers match. Mu is 3.2. Sigma is 1.11. X bar is 2.9. N is 90. The hard part for most students is what do you do right here? Well, look at your alternative hypothesis, and this should match it. Our alternative said mu does not equal 3.2, so we choose not equal to here. Next, we go down to calculate. My calculator's not wanting to move. Sorry, guys. Okay, now I got it. Calculate and hit enter, and it gives me everything I need to know. Okay, it gives me my z value. And my p-value. I forgot to mention it on the last video. This gives me my z-value as well as my p-value. So keep this screen in mind, okay? My z-value is negative 2.56, which is what you see at the bottom of this page, okay? Now I'm going to flip it over, which would be your next page. And we find the p-value. Now this is kind of tricky, okay? The easiest thing you can do is just take the p-value from the calculator and go with it. But if you want to know, based on old techniques, how I got it, 
remember your calculator um, only does area to the left. So if I calculate the probability that z is less than negative 2.564, I get 0 0.00517. This is a two-tailed test. So just to give you the picture, that would mean that my area right here is 0 0.00517. But that's only one tail. I have to do both. It's symmetric, so I basically multiply that number by 2, and I get my answer of 0 0.0103. Okay, now personally, you already told your calculator it was a two-tailed test. It already did this for you. There's the answer. That saves you a lot of work. I would go with that. Okay. Our next step is we compare the p-value to alpha. Remember, if the p-value is less than alpha, we reject the null. Our p-value, 0 0.0103, is less than our given alpha of 0 0.09. You just look at the first two digits. That's like one cent. That's like nine cents. One penny is less than nine pennies. Therefore, we reject the null hypothesis. Okay? Now, let's keep going. Um, was the null our claim? Look back at the first sentence of the problem. So I'm going to actually rewrite this a little bit. So hold, give me a second while I do that. The null hypothesis. I'm trying to look at my screen while I write, and I'm not doing very good at that. Was mu equaled the 3.2. That was our null. The alternative was mu did not equal 3.2. And let me just look back. What was the claim? The claim was that it equals that. How do we know? It was the first sentence in the problem. Okay. So the claim was the null. Let me just write all that down. I apologize. I uh, should have had it all in one place. So I didn't have to go back and forth. But you can write. You can hold your side by side because yours were separate pages. But mine was on the other side. So it was hard to flip back. But that was my claim. Okay. What was my conclusion? Well, for step five, we got to kind of put this back in context. Okay. We rejected the null, so I need to write down right here, I reject. Okay, now you see why I wanted to have this all written in one place. I want to always write down what my claim was, and did I reject my null or not? My question, that way I can answer their question. Their question was, can we reject the claim? Well, the claim was the null. We rejected the null. Therefore, we reject the claim. Okay? So again, you really always want to have this written down together. The null hypothesis, the alternative, which one was the claim? In this particular problem, the claim was the null hypothesis because the first sentence said they claim that the mean conception was equal to 3.2. Equal always goes with the null. They told us that was our claim. And in this last step, we just determined we reject the claim. Okay? I'm oh, sorry, we, we determined we reject the null hypothesis. Right there, we, we determined we reject the null hypothesis because our p-value was less than alpha. So I go back and I write that down. So you always have, at the very end, always look back. Where was your claim? And did you reject the null or fail to reject? That will tell you your final decision, which in this problem is we reject the claim.